So we go back to Alexandria Bay, where Bobby Heenan is lecturing Vince McMahon on what has happened, but he has to collect himself and stop because, holy crap, James E. Cornette is in the ring on Raw. And Heenan marks out like crazy. Me too. Hits the ring, gives Cornette a great big hug. Vince is explaining to people this is Jim Cornette from Smoky Mountain Wrestling. That was bizarre. It gets weirder, actually. But, but Heenan says Cornette is the greatest manager in the history of the sport of wrestling. Not even I could surpass what he has done. Which is a lie by Bobby Heenan. <laughs> he would tell you privately. There, there was an interview once where they asked, uh, it was like, who's the great? They asked Cornette and Heyman, which of you is the best manager of all time? And they each said, neither of us is. It's Bobby Heenan. And so they went to Heenan and he said, they're right. It's me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Cornette says he's the only the best manager now because Bobby Heenan is a commentator. So Cornette's cutting this promo and he is sweating his balls off. This comes up later. It's a metal corrugated roof. I mean, I guess so. He expects July. So he's been everywhere. He's done everything. Had tag team champions all over the world. The one thing he's never done is appear here in the World Wrestling Federation. He has found this greatest tag team ever in Smoky Mountain Wrestling, the Heavenly Bodies. And he knows the Steiners are the WWF Tag Team Champions, but they're not the best tag team in the world. The Heavenly Bodies are. Mentions their open challenge, says you can get in the ring with the Heavenly Bodies and get beat, but at least people will know you got guts. Or you can turn them down and show everyone you're yellow, stinking cowards. It was wow. an awesome promo by Jim Cornette here. Fighting words. And yeah. we get that match at Summer Slam. Uh, tease it and deliver it. Yeah. Which, by the way, this kind of all ties together. Uh, 93 was not the highlight year of the World Wrestling Federation economically or financially. They're running the show in, I'll say it again, Alexandria <laughs> Bay, New York, in an unfinished garage. These are dark times. Dark times call for desperate measures. Desperate measures are, I will work with other wrestling promotions. So the next match is Mr. Perfect versus Barry Hardy, I think. Uh, Cornette's on commentary, burying the building for having no AC because he's sweating his balls off. Making fun of Vince's hair, calling it a wig. Vince is plugging Smoky Mountain programs, including the Armstrong Brothers and the Rock and Roll Express. I fell out of my chair here in that. So the whole story here, as it is, is Barry Hardy was wrestling a singlet. Was wrestling in a singlet. Mr. Perfect wears a singlet. Apparently no one else gets to. And Perfect stripped the singlet off him, hit a perfect plex and won. This is weird. It's like Mr. Perfect was on one side and then Mr. Perfect from Wish was on the other side. Oh, God. This is how the show begins, really. Oscar does a back kick, camera cut. She does a back fist, camera cut. She starts to run, camera cut. She hits a hip attack, camera cut. She drops to her knees, camera cut. She throws a kick, camera cut. She stands up and screams, camera cut to people brawling on the floor. I was furious, do you understand? I wanted to shut the show off and not watch anymore. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.